Back on Hitting Hard with John Chuck, we're here on Locked On Sports Atlanta. Head to YouTube.com, put Locked On Sports Atlanta in your search browser. Hit that subscribe button, be a part of our ever-growing community. Leave us a comment, free and available too on all of your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. Leave us a five-star review if you would, please. And then give me a follow on my personal Twitter page. That would be at JMCH316. So we got our first coaches poll out, uh, obviously this preseason. And look, does this mean anything? No. But one of the great things about college football and I'm super excited to get into college football, man. I'm Everybody knows college football is my favorite sport. I'm also one of our hosts for a college football show on the radio station that I work for. I love college football. So the great thing about college football is polls and being able to discuss things all season long with folks about college football. So the first poll came out, and the top four went exactly as I've been predicting to y'all. Alabama 1, Ohio State 2, Georgia 3, Clemson 4. Now, a couple of interesting things here as we look at this poll. Number one, Alabama got the vast majority of first place votes, 54. No real surprise there. Ohio State got five first place votes. Georgia got six first place votes. So defending national champions actually got more first place votes than the team that is ahead of them at, at the number two. The other the interesting thing is Texas got a first place vote. Texas. Somebody's got Texas being number one. Huh? What? To quote my friend Hugh Douglas, what? Anyway, um, so Texas did get their one first place vote. So after after Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, Clemson, uh, rounding out the top 10, you go Notre Dame, Michigan, A&M, Utah, Oklahoma, Baylor comes in at number 10. Now, I think, truthfully, Notre Dame and Michigan are a little bit high. Um, I think Notre Dame might have the best offensive line in college football. If I'm ranking early offensive lines, I think Notre Dame one. I think Georgia number two. I think they're maybe a little bit high, though. Still questions about what their offense is going to look like, um, but they have an outstanding offensive line. So you have that in college football. You can figure out a lot of different things. Michigan, look, I know they've got their quarterback back. They've got some really good running backs coming back. They do have some personnel coming back on their offensive side of the football. The problem is replacing those two dudes that were on their defensive side of the football. You don't just replace Aiden Hutchinson and David Ajabo. Hutchinson is maybe – one of the greatest defensive linemen ever at Michigan. Okay, and this is the winningest program in the history of college football. You don't just replace those guys. And Ajabo is kind of that unsung hero that was so dominant at times last year. And again, I know everyone's going to say, well, they didn't do nothing against Georgia. I get all that. We're not talking about one game. We're not talking about one game from last year. You don't just replace those guys over the course of a season. So I think they're valued a little bit high. I would have had A&M right behind Clemson. And I do believe, and I'm very, very strong about this, that anybody throwing dirt on the grave of Clemson is way too premature. They're going to be back. We're seeing those guys on that defensive front. If they're healthy and ready to go, they're going to have another outstanding defense. And they've got plenty of offensive personnel, not just returning, but the guys that they've recruited as well. So I think I think Clemson is back in a big way this year. And by the way, their down year was still a 10-win season through all of this. So I probably would have had AM at number five. And I know they got plenty of questions, especially at quarterback. But I think AM defensively, their running backs are outstanding. They can run the football. They've got plenty of skill position people. I probably would have had AM at, at five. The other team I think that's maybe a little bit low is Utah. And I think Utah is an excellent team. Bringing back their quarterback, they always play a very aggressive style of defense. And they have maybe the most underrated coach in all of college football, Kyle Winningham. I like Utah. I think they're going to win the Pac-12 when all is said and done. Uh, I think the one sleeper out there is the team that came in at number 15 in the poll is Southern Cal. Because if you look what Lincoln Riley has brought in to bring in Caleb Williams, to bring in Jordan Anderson, you know, uh, Caleb Williams, a guy who was a monster at Oklahoma, obviously part of that quarterback system. Addison is the Bolitnikoff winner at wide receiver, arguably the best wide receiver returning in the country this year. Their offense is going to get rolling and get cranked up and going. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about the poll and a couple other thoughts about this. But first, my friends over at coffeeam.com, you know how passionate I am about these folks. I'm drinking their coffee. I'm already on my third cup. That's why I'm all wired and ready to go. But I love these folks. Coffeeam.com is the place to go. You're looking for all types of coffee. You need K-cups? They got it. You want organic coffees? They got it. You want flavored coffees? They got it. They got everything you need at coffeeam.com. So here's what I want you to do, Okay. Go to my folks over at coffeeam.com backslash locked on, L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N, coffeeam.com backslash locked on. When you get there, go through their extensive line of coffees. They got teas available to you. They have gift sets, right? 
or you want a mug, whatever like that, pug in a mug, you want all that stuff, they got it for you there, okay? So when you get there, put together that order at coffeeam.com. When you put together that first order, okay, coffees, teas, gift sets, whatever you find there, when you get to checkout, I want you to use the coupon code locked on, L O C K E D O N, locked on. Use the coupon code locked on at checkout, and you will get 15% off that first order of coffees, teas, gift sets, whatever it is, right? This stuff is fantastic. Listen, it's great to just have around the house and just smell that aroma that it comes from that coffee. They outstanding, best small batch coffee roaster in America. And you know what I love? As I've said this before, they're here in Georgia. They're up in Canton, online coffee company. Can't say enough good things about these folks. So get that 15% off of your first order by using the coupon code Locked On at checkout of whatever order you've put together that first time. You'll get 15% off Coffee AM, coffeeam.com. Man, my friends, best small batch coffee roaster in America. So the one team that is interesting, and they came in at number 13. So I've talked about this team before, and they are, if we discount Notre Dame in the ACC, because they're not a member of football. Yes, I know they play six games in the ACC, but they're not a true football member of the ACC. Clemson is the highest ranked ACC team. The next highest ranked team is a team that I've talked about, that NC State comes in at number 13. And I've said, and I'll probably be proven wrong because I usually am about this kind of stuff, but if there is an outside the box, you want a Cincinnati, Michigan type of team that has a chance to be in the college football playoff this year, okay? I'm hitching my wagon to the Wolfpack. So you'll be hearing me on the radio on Saturday mornings is Wolfpack Chuckery. Because now for a few years, it's been go pokes, uh, Chuckery. I've been on the Oklahoma State bandwagon. That blew up in flames for me. This probably will too, because Dave Doran is still coaching NC State. But Devin Leary is an outstanding quarterback, and they have a bunch of returning talent. And they had a pretty good year last year. I think they have a chance to take that big step. If you're looking for a team that is sort of outside the box, not just oh, Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, Clemson, right? If you're looking for a different type of team to put some money on, NC State to me is that team this year. And I think that they are that team. You know, look, 13th in the country is in a pretty good spot right now. You know, ahead of uh, Southern Cal, ahead of Miami and Pittsburgh, uh, ahead of Texas, um, you know, ahead of Kentucky, Cincinnati. I'm a little bit surprised that Cincinnati is the highest ranked group of five team because Houston was the team that was picked to win the AAC in the media poll. But yet Cincinnati got themselves a couple. That part of that is reputation. That That's what it is. I think I think Cincinnati has too many losses. I think it's not just Ritter. It's Sauce Gardner and a lot of their offense and defense. I mean, they, they lost a whole bunch of guys, right? That, that Austin kid at wide receiver, that was a guy I wanted for the Atlanta Falcons. I think there's too many losses to try to just make up in one season for Cincinnati. So I think they're going to come back down a little bit to earth. They're still going to be a really good group and a really good team. But I think Houston is the class of the AAC um, this year. Um, look, Georgia's right where I expected him to be at number three. And I think that's fair. I think that's fair, right? I think Alabama has the two best maybe returning players in all of college football, Bryce Young and Will Anderson. The only guy who might break into that top three is the quarterback at Ohio State in C.J. Stroud. And that's why they're number two, because their wide room, wide receiver room, if Georgia's tight ends are the best unit in all of college football, then the Ohio State wide receivers is the next best group in the country. Ohio State's wide receiver group is outstanding. You saw how they torched Utah in that Rose Bowl game. And that was with out Olave and Garrett Wilson and those guys, right? They didn't need those guys. Trayvon Henderson, Stroud, Smith and Jigba, they, they are loaded at, at skill position. If they don't average 50 points a game this year, that's what's going to be amazing. The key for Ohio State will be their defense. And they brought Knowles over from Oklahoma State to really solidify that defense. Oklahoma State had one of the best defenses in the country last year. They like what they're getting out of it. You know that they recruit at the highest and highest and highest of levels out there, and they have returning talent. I think their secondary is going to have some questions to it. But Ohio State is so good offensively that they will be able to outscore almost everybody that they play. They won't get into very many 10-3, to 17-10 to 10 types of games. They're going to roll and try to put 50 up on you every week with that group of offensive personnel. So the top four is exactly what I thought it would be. I think AM should be number five. I think Notre Dame and Michigan maybe are a little bit overvalued. I think Utah's a team that can move up. 
obviously, as I said, I think that the sleeper team to watch for is NC State. Um, I don't trust Baylor, Oklahoma State. I don't trust Michigan State. You know, Southern Cal is another one to watch out for. If Caleb Williams has this kind of year and Addison and they get that offense cranked up and going, they're going to cause some problems out west as well. All right, we thank you so much for making Hitting Hard with John Trucker your first listen every day. Make my friends over at ATL Day Ones your second listen every day. My friends Jarvis Davis and Nitro Batiste talking about all things in the heart of the city of Atlanta. They're going to cover everything for you. Hawks, Braves, Dogs, you name it, they've got it covered. Also some pop culture and some fun on that show as well. They are free and available on our YouTube page at Locked On Sports Atlanta. Hit that subscribe button when you get there. Give them a download on your favorite podcast platform as well. Free and available everywhere you want. Spotify, Odyssey. Leave us a five-star review if you would. Then also give me a follow on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. We will be back with you tomorrow. This has been Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, Locked On Sports Atlanta.